Okay, we want to do a little bit of work with derivatives. Uh, let's find the derivatives of some functions here. First, I have f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 4. Nice simple polynomial. I'm going to differentiate this. But first, let's talk for a second about notation. If I was to say that this was y equal f of x equal all of this, then all of the following represent the derivative of y with respect to x. I could say dy dx. That's the derivative of y with respect to x. I could say the derivative of f of x with respect to x. That's also the derivative of y with respect to x or of f of x with respect to x. I could say that this is f prime of x. When I do that, I know that when I just use the little prime mark, I know I'm differentiating f with respect to x. And I could also just write down y prime. And then there's no mistaking y as a function of x, so when I say y prime, I mean the derivative of y with respect to x. So whatever these are, when I differentiate, let's go ahead and do that. The derivative of a sum is going to be the sum of the derivatives. So that tells me I can differentiate each one of these terms separately. So I'll differentiate x squared with respect to x using my exponent rule. I get 2x. Plus, I differentiate 3x with respect to x. Well, I have a constant times a function of x. So when I differentiate, it's that constant times the derivative of that function of x. So 3 times the derivative of x with respect to x, which is just 1. So I'll just write that as 3 minus the derivative of that constant, which is 0. So there's my derivative, 2x plus 3. And I can use any of these notations right here to represent it. Let's look at our next problem v of r is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Well, if I was to, I want to differentiate this with respect to r, so I'll just say v prime of r, meaning I'm differentiating v with respect to r. So here I have a constant, a constant, so this is a constant times a function of r. So when I differentiate this, it'll just be that constant times that derivative of that function of r. So I have 4 thirds pi, and then I differentiate r cubed with respect to r, and I'll get 3 r squared. That's my exponent rule. Now I can simplify this a little bit. I'll just divide out those 3's right there, and I end up with 4 pi r squared for that derivative of v with respect to r. Let's go to the on a little farther here and do a couple more. All right, I want to differentiate f with respect to x, and f of x is equal to 16 x to the third couple different ways to do this. You could simplify this first and make it 16 to the third times x to the third if you wanted to separate those, or you could just use the chain rule. Let's just differentiate. I'll have f prime of x is equal to, okay, I have some function of x to the third power, so it's 3 times 16x, that's that base, to a power 1 less 2, and then I have to differentiate the base, in which case I get 16. So I have 3 times 16x quantity squared times 16. So I have 16 times 16 squared, 16 to the third times 3 times x squared if I want to simplify that. But right now what I want to do is just take you through and let you look at the derivatives. We don't have to simplify that one. y of t is equal to 6t to the negative 9. Okay, so I'll take y prime of t, meaning I'm differentiating y with respect to t. Now I'll differentiate here. I have a constant times a function of t. So I'll just have 6, that constant times the derivative of that function. Now when I differentiate t to the negative 9, it's negative 9. t to the negative, OK, I have to subtract 1 from that exponent, negative 9 minus 1, negative 10. So here I have 6 times negative 9, t to the negative 10. Let's just simplify that one. 6 times 9, 54 positive times negative, negative, so negative 54 t to the negative 10, so how about 54 over t to the positive 10? Did that go off there? Yep. And so there you have negative 54 over t to the positive 10th. Yeah, you know, if you left at negative 54 t to the negative 10th power, you know, that's okay. It's still the correct derivative, but a lot of times instructors like you to write your exponents as positive numbers. So you have to see what your instructor wants you to do. But a quick look at finding some derivatives.